I could not believe this weather. This morning it was literally raining cats and dogs. Not literally, but you know what I mean. And yesterday we had a huge hailstorm. But now, it's like a perfect spring day. It is meant to be a bit cold tonight. I think around two degrees. But I've got my thermal fleece liner, so I should be okay. And I got my temperature gauge, so I'm going to see how cold it does get. I don't know if my camera is picking up the skylarks, but they're out and about. I don't know why I'm surprised, because it's meant to be spring, but the sky is an endless blue. It's, it's lovely. It's currently about half past six, because I've got another hour and a half worth of sunlight. So I'm going to head to my spot onwards, I guess. quite a dark patch of clouds coming overhead so I'm gonna cook my tea and probably get ready for bed like last time I've got the same meal just because I really I, was re I really liked it I just got some taco mixed beans which I'll cook with some Mexican style rice yes I was hoping to sleep by the river there's a really nice bit of black grass where I was wandering but it was quite loud and I wanted to go somewhere a bit quiet hence why I'm here well, I guess I better do my evening chores and get to bed before it starts to rain. This look quite... Hmm, there's like patches of fading blue sky but yeah I think rain's gonna settle in for the night so yeah I'm gonna quickly pack down my bits and bobs and then get into bed I think <clears throat> just about to see me hopefully I'm gonna say good night it's about just after nine o'clock here I can see a little bit of sky so I'm hoping it doesn't rain too much tonight I'll sleep quite well but yeah good night guys
It's about quarter past five now. There's absolutely no wind, which is great. It's so nice and still and peaceful. My tent's a bit wet, but not too bad. It's got mostly condensation. I think there's a tiny bit of ice on it. So peaceful. It's always fun. Hopefully I should get the sunrise once I clear this ridge behind me. Oh, yay the sun! It's actually quite cold. After my last camp there was something that I didn't do and that was rate mobile camp which is something I normally do and for this one I give it a 9 out of 10 and um, it was lovely and peaceful, I didn't mind the rain, I had a lovely meal before bed and there's only one thing that I wanted to do and I was hoping to go wild swimming but um, after I packed down my tent this morning I wasn't as warm as I wanted to be and I didn't really, I didn't really fancy getting in the water not being warm. I'll have to do that next time. Blue sky is appearing. I cannot wait for the summer. Like it seems like it's a long time coming. Owen just seems winter just seems to be holding on a tiny bit more, a tiny bit longer than usual. But yeah, I'm gonna head home now. Probably have a nice hot bath and maybe do some work on my tiny house. I think I've got to do the curtains. But yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you, actually I'll see you in five minutes because I'm going to check out my temperature logger. Ooh. Well, welcome to my bedroom. Find the temperature logger and we'll see just how cold it got. So I'm going to stop this where it's currently, t it's a toasty 18 degrees. So I'm going to grab my laptop and we'll see how cold it got. Then it started to drop as I headed out on my little adventure. So there it is at 14 degrees, about half past seven, I think as I left my car. That's 8 p.m. 12 degrees, and then at about half past eight it hit nine degrees and it stayed at that temperature. Four degrees at six, but at six in the morning at half past six, I think that's when I left my camping spot and I was in that wind chill, and that's why it dropped so much. Interesting. See you next time.